Okay. Vlogmas day eight. I am going to show you guys my AM routine. <laughs> yes, I was drinking a tub of cheat coat this morning. It's not soda, I promise. I sometimes like to throw a little Mio in them. <laughs> But I'm going to show you the morning. As you can hear, it's a little chaotic. There's dogs, there's kids. So let's go. There we go. Much better. <laughs> so one of the first things I do is straighten up my couch. Since my family does not do this after they get up. There we go. Much better. Don't you make a mess. We're out here trying to raise independent children. Why are you wearing your mask in the house? Because I want to be ready. Okay. And it's off to school we go. There's a huge plus living two minutes from the school. <laughs> there a puppy in there? Bell Bell. Oh. Okay, I have showered and now it is time to finish my skin routine. So normally while I'm doing my skin routine, I do some Rosetta Stone at the same time. I kind of do an Italian lesson every morning because that's a language I want to get better at. <laughs> and since I know Spanish really, really well, um, Italian is kind of really easy to pick up. So, but instead I'm going to talk to you guys a little bit today, but that is the only difference. So I've already washed my face. You guys are gonna hear dogs going in and out of here because that's what they do. Um, I've already washed my face. I use a cleanser from Carez. It's like a Greek yogurt creamy thing because my skin tends to be more normal dry using a cream-based cleanser instead of a gel based. Uh, gel based, oh my God. Gel based cleanser is better for my skin. Gel based cleansers are better if you're normal or oily, or normal to oily or just oily. So I've done that. I've also done my toner, which all I use for a toner is this Evian Mineral Facial Spray. It feels really bougie. My friend Janelle got me into this. <laughs> and you guys, she has like the most flawless skin. I can't, like, I can only aspire to be her. So after that, I put on a brightening serum. This is the kind that I use by the Inky. Um, it's really inexpensive. This is probably the most inexpensive thing. And I always pat. I mean, I could be doing this wrong, but I always pat, get under there. Then I let that soak in for a minute. And while that happens, I get my next bougie item out of my drawer here. Sorry for the cleavage, we're still in a bra because I don't like to do this with my clothes on. Just in case I spill something, um, is the, <laughs> you know, like the jade or crystal rollers. I don't know if it actually helps, but I will tell you, it feels really, really good. My dogs are fighting over a toy and they're probably gonna shred it on my floor while I do this. Oh my gosh. But anyways, I like to go up under here. It feels so good because it's so cold. So I kind of start here. I've seen people that do this really quickly. I've seen them that do it really slowly. This is what I do. And then I like to go along my jawline. I told you they're rude. Hey, you two. We have so many toys in this house. Never happens. Bell Bell. Hold on a second. They've received a stern talking to. We'll see if this continues. <laughs> um, anyways, forehead. We haven't done the forehead yet. And then I like to take the little one and just get really close up there under eye. Really roll out those fine lines. I find that my eyes kind of tend to be a little more swollen in the morning and I have such big eyes I feel like it's really easy for me to get creases down here it just feels better and sometimes one of the other things that I will do is there's this like vibrating tool that I got that like sucks your blackheads out of your nose but it also has this fine tooth piece um, that you can massage your under eyes with 
And it's kind of crazy how well it actually um, works. I don't know if you guys were able to see that. But Lord knows I can. Usually when it's more close up, you'll see some of the, like, the smaller, smaller lines go away. So if you're feeling extra bougie, I know I probably look super bougie at this point. Um, <laughs> next round for me is just moisturizer. I like to use the Laneige Water Bank. My skin has never felt so hydrated in its life. Get a little extra here. And it just, it feels so like luxurious to rub in. Like it just feels so good. It just, mm. I can't describe it. <laughs> oh, it just feels so good. Um, the next, the last part that goes on is an essence. I do have an under eye cream as well, but I'm out of it and I'm waiting for my new one to come in. I was using Basha, but I found it made my eyes water a lot. So I was kind of just rubbing my eyes and I think defeating the purpose of it. But the Laneige Water Bank Hydro Essence, you guys, especially if you tend to get a little drier in the winter, add this into your moisturizing cycle and it's amazing and then of course we have to do the whole you know underarm thing because we don't like to smell so today um i didn't wash my hair when i showered i don't wash my hair every day i use a dry shampoo in between because it's actually not good to wash your hair every day and i think that's why my hair looks so good generally speaking but i do have a team call today which means that I will probably hit it with a flat iron a little bit. We'll see how that goes. So give me one second. I gotta set that up and I only have a little desk here. All right, we are back at it. <laughs> so um, I always put my shirt on before I start doing my hair because the last thing I wanna do is mess up my hair <laughs> by putting clothes on over the top. So um, my hair is looking okay today. I mean, I'm just doing one video call today uh, with my consultant team for my business. So, you know, I let them see me in a little bit more of a... <gasps> Once it's made, they're not allowed up because my comforter is white. Excuse me, beat it. <laughs> I know that's probably slightly confusing to them, but rules are the rules. They're actually really good. They're only allowed on one couch in the house and it's the old couch that's in the basement. It's kind of like a den right now, but I am actually gonna convert it to a one bedroom apartment, like in-law style apartment. So it should be exciting. I'm sure we're gonna fight over a toy a little bit more while I do my hair. Uh, but yes, just one team call today. And then a bunch of work. The other thing that I'm always doing in the morning is I'm drinking. This is one of those big, huge venti cups from Starbucks, but it's all water. I usually drink about three or four of those a day. You gotta stay hydrated. I don't know if I said it already, but I did spray a little heat protectant spray on my hair before I hit it with a flat iron. Now I'm not going as crazy as I normally would if I was going out somewhere to flat iron my hair, just enough to give it a little shine to look like, you know, I kind of gave a crap this morning. And if it, let's be honest, I wouldn't have time to talk to all of you. You would need to go do something, I guarantee, if you saw how long it took to actually truly flat iron all of my hair. Oh look, we're gonna fight over the toy again. You two are nuts. <laughs> but guys, this is it. It's usually me yelling at dogs for fighting over toys uh, while I'm trying to get ready in the morning. Um, there's some mornings where I won't do all of this. And honestly, they're the mornings I usually end up regretting not doing this. See? Excuse you. You and you, I'm recording. 
you know, I usually regret not doing it because it just makes me feel better. All right, that's usually how much I will hit my hair. And by this time, most of my moisturizer has soaked into my skin. So I will add the essence, just a little squirt or two here. It's very like milky. It just feels, this feels so good. Laneige is just the bomb.com. And I'm, this is not a sponsored post by any means. I'm just obsessed. All right, well, let's, let's head out to the office. All right, so I'm at my desk. I have to do a couple of emails first. So one of the things that I do that you didn't catch this morning is when I first wake up, I dedicate about 15, 20 minutes to going through my social media, checking what emails have come in already just to make sure that there's nothing that needs my immediate response. Um, because I kind of like sitting down to my desk and not having a ton of notifications in my face. It feels like I have a clear, more clear slate to start the day. Um, so that's one of the biggest things I do in the morning. And then the second thing that I wanted to show you guys is there's certain essentials that I keep at my desk at all time. And first you have a scrunchie because I will throw my hair back multiple times a day. Nail clippers because I fidget and pick my fingers. Apparently that's my nervous, anxious self. Um, and then I always include eyeliner, mascara, and lipstick because I have had clients show up to a call that want to do the video part just in case. And I usually have a blazer in here too that I'll hang off the back of my chair just in case I've had it happen and this has always been a lifesaver. Um, I always have a couple chargers. I have blue light glasses for when I've been staring at the computer too long and the, always my AirPods as well. So that's what's on my desk. I'm gonna work for a little bit um, and then I'm gonna grab some breakfast. Breakfast during the week is usually very quick for me, except for maybe Wednesdays when Olivia's home. It's usually two hard boiled eggs, a two good yogurt with a little chocolate flavor god seasoning in there, and two tablespoons of hemp hearts. It's a really quick way to get 30 grams of protein with my PCOS. I've been working with a nutritionist and she's been able to help me with some of my PCOS symptoms just by making you know some changes. Overall, I, you know, <laughs> felt like I ate pretty well, but you know, there's certain things that I think in diet culture in general that you just don't think of. Like, you know, I would have a really great bowl of oatmeal in the morning. Like I'd put peanut butter in it, I'd put fruit in it, I'd put hemp hearts, you know, all these great things. But then I would feel hungry like an hour or so later. And one of the things she told me is because every meal you should really be aiming to get 30 grams of protein in the meal. If you do a lot more above that, it goes to fat storage. She's like, but aim for 30 grams. And ever since I've been aiming for 30 grams of protein, um, you know, I'm not feeling as hungry during the day. I'm feeling a lot more satisfied. So those are a quick way for me to hit 30 grams. And the two good yogurts are really great. I don't know if you've tried them, but unlike some flavored Greek yogurts, there's only like two grams of sugar in the entire thing where others have like 16 to 20 grams, which is insane. And then the flavor God is just a flavor seasoning. You know, there's not a ton of chemicals and stuff in that. I'll throw links for all this stuff down there. Again, these aren't promotionals. I'm just telling you what works for me and maybe it will help you. We'll see, but I have to get to work for a little bit and I will come back and show you guys my iced coffee routine that I think I showed you a couple days ago. All right. Here's the recording studio. It is time to take a quick break and get coffee. So my iced coffee is pretty simple. I am obsessed with this cold brew and I'm actually going to use the last of it. I already put a little water in here. Normally it's a 50-50 dilution, if that's a word, <laughs> but um, I do about a two to one ratio for me. Um, sometimes I just put sugar in it. Sometimes I just add a little bit of those like skinny girl or whatever syrups, just a little bit. Today we're doing cookie dough flavor. And then I just top it with the coconut milk. I always feel like it looks so cool when I make it. <laughs> and then a straw and I'm good to go. It's been a busy morning. 
so it's about 11:30 right now um and i've got a good chunk of work done so one of the things that i always do and i make it a point i try to block an hour for it if not at least i try to get 30 minutes in as i try to do an educational style video every day um, whether it's learning something new about photography, videography, or taking a, you know, industry professional course, finding, there's tons of free courses on LinkedIn and whatnot, or YouTube. Um, I always try to add that new piece. I like learning something new, or I'll challenge myself to go learn more about a brand or a new hotel brand that's emerging that I'm not that familiar with. So I think education is a really big piece. To my morning and then usually after this I will go for a walk I'll take the dogs for a walk I'll do a little straining uh straining stretching <laughs> exercise it is straining uh stretching exercise um something just kind of light to get my mind out of it make a quick lunch and then I hop back in it and Olivia gets picked up at 3 15 she comes home and I get back to work <laughs> so that's what my morning routine looks like let me know down in the comments, did you, um, there's my computer going off. Did you um, see anything today that you think you'd like to add to your routine? Is there something that you do in your routine that you think I would benefit from? Let me know down there and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.